sounds like, you know, it's way ahead of time, but uh, if, if all the delegates, and most of the delegates are picked by February 5th, it's not, it's not unreasonable that, the, that, that uh, the campaign starts not, uh, uh, not, in, not in January, but at least in September, you know, with late, with everybody in. Uh, this is, a lot of people said this is the first campaign since 1952 where the, neither party will have a, 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 a vice president or a president uh, uh, running for office. But what's even more interesting is the, is the Republican, the Republican Party really likes to be run pretty much like a private club. Uh, it, it really doesn't care for uncertainty. Uh, I think the model for, for Republicans and how they should pick their candidates is the Rotary Club. You know, they, uh, they don't have contested elections, and they know ahead of time who's going to be the president of the local Rotary Club. And so uh, uh, if you think back, uh, every election beforehand they, they have, uh, the party comes up with an establishment candidate. Um, the, uh, for example, it doesn't really matter if he's any good or, or not. For example, uh, 1996, uh, Bob Dole was the establishment candidate. Uh, I mean, I, I can't, I, I don't remember a worse presidential candidate in my life. <laughs> not my personal opinion, but uh, it's, it's worse uh, nothing. Is he'd be just as bad a president? But he, he was. We don't know. We don't know that. We do know he was a he was a terrible candidate. And uh, uh, and if you if you were, I kind of talk about it in the book a little bit because it was such a strange year. But he uh, he ran a horrible race in Iowa. He almost got beat by um, uh, Buchanan in, in Iowa. Uh, if the candidate had won, I think that would have been the end of Bill. And Bill went to New Hampshire, and he barely hung on in New Hampshire. He finished second. He finished second in New Hampshire to um, to Buchanan. He almost finished third to Alexander. If he had to finish third, that would have been the end of him. And then uh, uh, they went to um, Arizona, and he finished second to Forbes, who had put all that money in. Buchanan well, could have beaten him for second, and that would have eliminated him if he finished third. Then he went to Delaware and he finished second to Forbes. So he had lost five primaries. And then they went into Super Tuesday and there was, I don't know what it was, 15 or 16 primaries or a dozen, I don't remember. He won every one. Every candidate. Because there was no campaign. Uh, and, it was the, the, and nobody campaigned against him. So the, the rule was uh, that for, for Dahl, that if there was no competition, he could win the, the primary. And if, there, if nobody had a campaign. And they were all jumbled up together, so so that's how he, he won. And it was I said it was Dole Incorporated that, that won those uh, those campaigns. Then the next time there's an open uh, election, um, it's 2000, four years later, and they pick a um, a guy for the the, the 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 Rotary Club heads. They pick a guy who had uh, who had failed in a race for Congress in West Texas, who had uh, failed in the oil business who wasn't considered too bright, uh, who was in his first term when they picked him as governor of Texas, and um, he got the anointment. You know, what, what, what is going on, see? But he, but he got it and, and uh, um, ran really a mediocre race um, uh, to, a, to a tremendously fallen <laughs> candidate in John McCain, almost lost to him, very nearly lost to him. So the Republican Party likes, they don't care if they're any good, they like to pick somebody. <laughs> and I thought, and I'm often wrong, I thought they had picked McCain this year. There was a big uh, a big party at the uh, Phoenix Park Hotel. They had all the, the lobbyists, all these guys who had been uh, leopards and tigers and things for, uh, for, for, for Bush. And they were all for McCain. And I said, you know, that's incredible. John McCain is, is the is the establishment candidate. And I had breakfast with John, and he was he was beaming about it. And uh, But it, it, it didn't work for a couple of reasons. One was that uh, the, his greatest point of, of public regularity was the war. Where's that popular? I mean, it's a funny thing with Republicans. It's a, part, it's a, it's a matter of public uh, solid, power solidarity, but nobody likes it. And secondly, all the things he had they started to think about all the things about John McCain, campaign finance reform, global warming, stem cell research that he was off the reservation on. And then that what killed him was immigration. 
He looked like he was for amnesty. I don't want to get in. I don't think that was an amnesty bill. But, but if everybody thinks it is, that's, that's as good as it being an amnesty bill. And uh, that, that, is, that cut off a supply of money. So the Republican Party is without a, without a, a Rotary Club president. And it's wide open. Um, you have, uh, uh, you have uh, Giuliani, who was uh, pro-choice, pro-gay pro rights, pro-gay marriage, pro-gun control. Um, I'm amazed he's in first place because uh, he looks like a lot of people think he's the guy who can be Hillary. Um, I still can't believe he can get nominated. I don't think he'd win those early primaries. You have um, you have Romney, who is uh, uh, he is Mr. Perfect. I'm, you know, the, he's every every girl's dream, and um, he's uh, he's handsome, he's rich, he's nice. Uh, he's got one one wife. You know, the only Mormon in the race, the only guy with one wife, and, uh, and uh, he, uh, uh, but uh, that's his guy. He's a Mormon, and uh, it, it, it is a real block on him going up. And I think he he thinks he's got to do something about it. I don't know what he does exactly. That's a problem. And then Mr. Question Mark is Fred Thompson. Is he uh, is he just a chimera? Is he just a Specter in the in the dark, or is he really? Uh, I don't mean an island specter either, but uh, <laughs> uh, is he is he some is he a real candidate? And we'll soon know. He's going to announce in September. He's got to really show something more than he's shown now. So, uh, in answer to your question, I don't know. Um, who would I bet on right now? I guess I guess if uh, if you give me good enough odds, I'll bet on Thompson. Uh, did you see the? Uh, the uh, straw poll in Georgetown, South Carolina, over the weekend, where uh, Thompson is first and Ron Paul is second, <laughs> and, and Newt Gingrich had two votes. 